Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Farming Simulator 25. I hope this guide helps you so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that open up settings on your PC and once you're here go down to gaming. Head over to Game Bar and simply turn this thing off. Game Bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background and it leads to performance drops. Disabling so will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to get better performance in the games. Right beneath that, click on the graphics settings over here and then click on change default graphics settings. Enable optimizations for windowed games and then go back. Once you are here, click on the browse button and now you guys have to go to the install location of your game. Once you are here, select Farming Simulator 2025 and then click on Add. Once you're here, head over to Options, select High Performance and then click on Save. This will help you to utilize your GPU to render this game. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Eza's Voice Wave, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time, but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application. And it is super amazing. So go check out Eza's Voice Wave from the link in the description below. Step number two is the animating windows. And for that, simply search for just the appearance and performance of windows. And then over here, click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of green fonts. This will help you to reduce the unnecessary animations on your windows while keeping the basic look intact. Next step is right in the advanced section over here that is setting up virtual memory. Click on the change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. After that, for the custom size, set this thing to 1361 for the initial size and for the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to multiply 32 with 1024 and this will give me my megabytes. Over here, divide this new value by 2 and this value should be pasted in the maximum size. It should be half of your RAM and once that is done, click on set, click on OK and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Once system properties opens up, look for a local SC. Click on create and name it Farming Simulator 25 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Farming Simulator 25 a FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Over here, you'll find in five simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and open up the AMD CPU priority and run it on your PC like this. Click on yes and that should be it. Apply it for all of the files and if you have an Intel folder, you have to do with the Intel CPU priority. Now let's go to the second folder that is a Farming Simulator 25. Over here, this is the priority for your game. It will help you to optimize your game settings and improve the performance and resource consumption of the game. Here I have left above normal and high priority and I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here. Third folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to use 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can choose it according to yourself. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you, guys you can always reset it back to default over here fourth folder is the power plan settings in which i have left ultimate performance power plan you have to right click on this as administrator and then head over to power plans this will add up a ultimate performance power plan on your pc once again simply select that and click on close and that should be it go back to the last folder that is programs in which i have left msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click on this as administrator once you're over here look for your graphic card click on the msi button in front of it and for the intro priority go with high click on apply and then close it will set up the correct SFIO priority for your graphic card and improve the overall power consumption. Next is the Unpark CPU or EXE. Simply right click on this as administrator again and a program like this will open in front of you. Once again, Windows by default has this tendency to turn off the cores that are not in use. And to turn them on again, you guys have to slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply, click on OK and it will make sure that none of your cores go to sleep which might be causing FPS fluctuations. Once it's done, simply click on close. Close the FPS pack. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that simply press Control shift and escape all together on your PC 
see and once task manager opens up in front of you head over to startup app section and then start disabling all of the apps that you do not use frequently after the boot of your pc this will help you to reduce your last booting time of your pc and it will also help you to run less number of applications and processes in the background keeping your cpu resources and ram resources available at all times make sure to know which applications you are disabling and do not disable applications like anti-cheat vg tray as it may be causing launching crash and errors while you're playing the games once it's done simply close it now let's drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game head over to the options settings and then over here go down to display settings for the screen resolution go with the native monitor vsync should be turned off frame rate limit should be set to the highest available for your monitor window mode should be set to full screen resolution scaling you guys can go down to 90 percent brightness and you hud scale should be your personal preference after that press the spacebar button on your keyboard and this will open up advanced graphic settings over here you have to go for object draw distance go with 75 foliage draw distance go with 100 LOD distance go with 75 and terrain LOD distance go with 80 then a resolution scaling 3d go with 100% but if you have a super low end PC try going down with 80 or 90 this will pixelate your game a little bit but it will give you best FPS possible shader quality go with low shading rate go with low screen space shading rate and reflection should be set to off screen space shadow should be set to off ssao quality go with uh, low atmosphere quality go with medium a volumetric fog go with low cloud shadows go with off terrain quality go with medium texture resolution go with low texture filtering go with bilinear light quality go with medium and everything other than that you have to go with off and low in the settings section over here go with foliage shadows and realistic beacon lightings go with off FOV you guys can go with the highest of label and this will give you the best FOV I prefer 90 for myself and first person should also be a little bit higher mesh tessellation volume should be set to 100% multi sampling and aliasing should be set to off post process and aliasing go with FSR 3 DLSS if you have an Nvidia graphic card turn this thing on fidelity FX super resolution 1 and 3 go with off fidelity FX super resolution 3 frame generation should be set to on as this game is not really competitive and you guys can go with frame gen on Intel zest should be off sharpness should be set to 1x and that should be it much with that press your enter key and now you guys can drop it into the game and enjoy the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me out growing the channel we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out